Hey guys, it's Jeff and iOS 11.2.2 was released today for all devices. The build number for this update will be 15C202. Let's see what this update brings to your device and should you download it or not. This video is sponsored by PureVPN. PureVPN is the easy to use and reliable VPN service now available on both Mac and PC. Mobile phones are included too, and they even have support in browser extensions. Check them out in the link below. Okay, so first thing is first, if you are looking for new features in this update, there are actually none. This update is specifically for performance improvements and bug fixes, which is sort of explained in the point two at the end. Typically updates with a point and then a number at the end don't introduce new features, they only fix issues within the OS. So for this update, I think Apple was really focused on battery life and performance improvement, both of which I do see improvements in already. So far, battery life has been good, but I can't say it's a world of difference as I haven't fully tested it for a couple of days. For those of you on lower versions of iOS though, I'd say that updating to iOS 11.2.2 is definitely not a bad idea due to the issues of battery life and performance found in the lower versions of iOS. As far as performance goes, I can tell a noticeable difference on the iPhone 7 Plus as everything is really just buttery smooth. There are no lags or stutters and going throughout the OS is really, really, really smooth. I'm actually really happy and satisfied with this performance here and I'll give you more updates as far as performance and benchmarks and all of that in some other later videos. Now in regards to bugs, I have checked for the usual suspects and I cannot find any major bugs at all. I can tell you that a lot of the bugs from iOS 11.2.1 were sniffed out and this is definitely a stable and pretty bug free version of iOS. So all in all, my recommendation would be to download and install this update right away if you're having any issues with battery life, performance, bugs, whatever may be hindering your experience on your iDevice, download this version and that will be fixed. I'll have an update on battery life as that is super important, but until then I'd still recommend that update because so far I have noticed just a slight difference in battery life. So guys, that's about it for iOS 11.2.2. Make sure to check out some of our other content on YouTube and get subscribed for some more upcoming updates and reviews coming really soon. It's been awesome sharing this update with you and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.